Gunslingers, Don Juan de Oñate, and Old Missions. Historian Leon Metz brought old stories back to life with a style of his own. He wrote extensively about what made the El Paso del Norte what he knows as El, what we know as El Paso today. Metz died over the weekend at the age of 90. And according to fellow historian Bernie Sargent, Metz died of COVID-19 and had underlying conditions. ABC 7 Civil Science joins us live now with more on the life and times of Leon Metz. So, hey Eric, well Metz was a transplant from West Virginia, stationed at Fort Bliss, but it was his fascination with the Wild West and our rich borderland history that kept him right here, becoming a true El Pasoan. Metz wrote several books, many of them about the Wild West. He was frequent contributor to ABC 7 and enlightened us with the details few could find in history books, but surfaced with his extensive knowledge about our own backyard where we began how El Paso evolved and how to keep our rich history alive. Metz was fascinated with the life of gunslinger John Wesley Harding. There hasn't really been written much on John Wesley Harden, and one reason is he wrote his own autobiography. And in many respects, that stopped a lot of people from writing uh, about him afterwards because as far as they were concerned, he had already said it all. Metz developed Alzheimer's and spent his final years at the Ambrosio Guillen Texas State Veterans Home. I'll have more on the life of Leon Metz tonight on ABC 710. You can also head over to our website at kvia.com. Eric? All right.